this is Lakshmi. Today we are going to teach about how to insert the values into a table, how to update a table and how to delete a table, delete a row or a, uh, delete a table from a uh, delete a row from a table. See, first I am go uh, I am going to I have, I have a table by name employee details in which I want to insert some values into it. For that, let me see what are the values are there in the table employee details. See, I am executing. See, nothing, no values are there. For that, I want to insert some values. For that, I am using the insert statement. Insert into employee details. There I am going to specify the columns like the EMP ID, comma EMP name, and then I am going to give values for that. Values one comma like the name is couple. Okay, this is what I am going to insert into an employee detail. See, execute. See, one row is affected. If I want to check, select and execute. See, one a couple. And like that only, I want to insert another row. Like insert into employee details. Here I, I am not specifying the columns. Why? Because if I want to give all the column values, then there is no need to give the column names over there. See, now I am going to give. See, if I select this, then it will be executed. This is how we can insert into that. In the other way is insert into employee details if I want to insert only one value like EMP underscore ID if I want to insert only the ID values then I have to specify the column and then I have to give the value see here I am going to give EMP ID and the value is 1 this is how I can insert the other value it will take as a null values see if you if you say this See for the, for the third row which I have inserted it has taken as a null value and the other thing is if I can change the order of inserting also. See if, if I first insert into employee details first I am giving the employee name. comma emp id values 3 first i am going to give a name like okay name low hit comma the id is 3 okay see for that select this table and exit see one row is affected see the emp name and the emp id is like this if if i give the uh, interchange like a emp name in ID, if i don't give in the order like the same order then it will throw an error see if i will give three and then i will give the name then it will give an error see Select XFC conversion fail by converting a loading data type into Y because EMP name is a varchar here it is an integer. This is how uh, this is uh, that is why it's uh, it is uh, throwing an error over here. Okay, the next thing is uh, how to update a table. For that update a table, I am using an update statement. See, if I want to add another like a um, update uh, like see how, how what we are having is see here here i am having emp id 1 and 1 if i want to change that the the name into 
the other thing then I have I, I will use an update statement what is I am using it update employee details set I'm using a set EMP underscore name equal to Lata where EMP ID is equal to 1. See what I am going to do change the name EMP ID is equal to 1 as a Lata. If, if I want to execute it, select and two rows. Why? Because the two rows are having the IDs 1. See Lata Lata has been changed. And the other thing, if, if I don't specify this, See, if I remove this, if I don't specify the all the rows will be updated. See how what has happened? The all four rows has been affected. See four four rows has an set has an ear as a lata, and and then if I want to do uh, if i want to do delete delete statement how we can use is by deleting delete statement delete delete from employee details where emp underscore id is equal to one if i want to delete the rows which are having EMP ID equal to 1, see then, then two rows will be deleted. See two rows are affected. If you want to select, select this and execute. See only two rows are there. If I don't give like that, if I don't give where statement, where a condition, then the all rows will be deleted. See all rows has been deleted. If you if you see here, nothing, nothing are there over here. This is how we can delete an Stay, uh, del delete statement can be used to delete an, any row or from a table okay this is how what we have seen here what, what we have seen is how to insert a values into a table how we can update a values in a, update a values in a given table and how we can delete a rows from a uh, from a table and this is uh, this is the methods which we can use uh, for the inserting deleting and updating a table okay this is for today thank you thank you for listening